guys. Dylan, could you hold this real quick? I just I found this. I don't want to get on the list for this. No, it's fine. I'm buying this for myself. Live, laugh, love. Kim Jong-un. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Danny. It's been a while since I've done a Tales from the Thrift video. In fact, this is episode two of the very much on hiatus mini series on my channel, Tales of the Thrift. Part one was like two years ago, I think. Two or three years ago. So, uh, as you all know, I've gotten back into selling on eBay, part-time actually. Um, and Shout out to David, who really... I, I've, I've been selling eBay for years, but... My secondary focus, besides my 9-to-5 job... Actually, it's 10-to-6, if you want to be technical... Is selling on eBay. And I've been selling a lot of my own stuff... Uh, from the storage unit on eBay. And shout out to you guys. who have, there's Some of you have bought stuff already, so I appreciate that. But today is Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday. The Chiefs are not in the Super Bowl, so I don't care about the Super Bowl at all. I'm not going to watch. I, I mean... I'm, I'm I'm not salty. I just, I would rather spend my time um, making more money potentially than watching a team, watching two teams I don't care about play for a trophy that my city isn't going to get, you know. Maybe I'm a little salty. I don't know. Take it as you will. That being said, I am on my way to pick up Julian now. We're currently at Oakland Park and um, I'm going to pick him up and then we're going to go to a place that's local to Kansas and Iowa called Retail Rebel. It's like Goodwill, but they like they have certain days where you get good deals. Like today is $10 day, uh, which means anything in the store is 10 bucks. So, you know, you can obviously get some pretty good stuff. Like uh, my brother picked up a couple tablets uh, a couple weeks ago on $10 day and he paid $10 for them. And uh, so I'm looking to do that because honestly, I'm not buying for me today. I've got profits from eBay in my uh, current checking account, which by the way, if you're interested in current, it's a amazing online bank. You can sign up below with my affiliate link. I get a little kickback. You get something, I'm pretty sure. Um, I also have Chime, which I need to add to those links. So hopefully if I remember, I'll put my Chime affiliate code in the description below as well. If not, not a big deal. But yeah, I, I love current and this is not an ad. But I do love Current because you get paid extremely quick. So eBay payments take about one to three days to process with a regular bank. With Current, you get paid, for me, I get paid the same day that they send out the payment. So when eBay emails me and says, we've sent your payment, I get it an hour later with Current. And again, not an ad, but they're just, they, they've got the uh, up to two days faster sort of feature with Current. And... Uh, yeah, I'm getting my payments same day, and I love that, which allows me to go out and buy more things for the store, because the money I'm using today is all from the sales from you guys, as well as um, sales I made on eBay from people who don't know me. So none of it's going to be my money. It's all money from that, and currently I've got like $400 in my current account, uh, thanks to eBay, thanks to you guys, so... Pulling into Julian's apartment complex, which, fun fact, when I was born, this is where my parents lived, was in the same complex uh, in Overland Park. So, I don't think Julian lives in the same exact apartment as I did, obviously. There's no way of knowing which apartment that was. But, yeah, this is where, I, when I was born, this first place I lived was this, uh, this apartment complex. I don't remember the name, nor would I say it on camera anyway, but still. So... Gonna pick him up right now. I think we're gonna go to the two retail rebel locations. There's five locations in Kansas, and then there's like five in Iowa. It's either Iowa or Illinois. I think it's Iowa that's got the other retail locations. So, yeah. Free Brittany. Too funny. So we got plenty of Pokemon stuff. Julian found this first. Glorious 
uh, XL mass bound. Very first thing, yeah. So, yeah, guys, retail rebels bins, and we're gonna go to the other side, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. They have a retail side and they have a bin side. So, and obviously, I'll show you guys what I get afterwards. That's brand new. Is it worth anything? Who knows? Oh boy. All right. <laughs> No, let's let's not. <laughs> In the same bin, we got Black Lives Matter flag <laughs> and blue wine flag, <laughs> made by the same company, probably. It's crazy. A lot of flags and birthday stuff in this one. What's this? I can't read French. Window insulator kit. I don't want that. Frog. What the hell's this? No idea. Shiny paper. Hey, I like this song. Got a keyboard. It just says wireless keyboard, so it's very generic. Cityscape, custom your type. Custom your type, that makes sense. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a phone case. Custom my type. What is that? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the second Switch game we found with nothing in it. Spooky time. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna copyright. I'm not careful. What are these? They're open, whatever it is. Some Korean something? Yeah, me and Julian have found two Lego games. Dang, that's empty. That's too bad. Bro, I, I thought we were about to find a score, but nah. Mr. Mime's probably not in there. Anyway, me and Julian found two Switch games. And so far, uh, both have been empty, which sucks. I don't know what that's for. Got headlights. HID headlights probably don't even work. I know what that is. Some picture. A third one of these. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Shout out to Ellie. Working oh nuts, don't you, my boy? Oh, they got a factory sealed nut box. <laughs> it's a weird saying. Out loud. But yeah. It's heavy, too. But I'm not selling food at eBay. Not right now, anyway. So back brace in case you didn't notice there's, there's a lot of people here a lot of people so yeah yep all right well, we got quite a few things <laughs> yeah oh is it is it put together though oh because i found a mr mime one a little bit ago that didn't have anything so huh i'll take a look Hell yeah, brother. I get a hell yeah in the chat, in the comments. <laughs> Let yeah. going. Shower curtain. Oh, and Julian found a new factory shield. The scent mouse pad, so that's definitely, definitely good eBay fodder. That'll get, that'll get a dollar or two. I'm looking for more. So far, I can just find shit like a barn. So, you know, five mass. Batteries actually go for a lot. So, I think we'll grab these. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Let's look at the price. But yeah. All right. Car keys full. Guys, do you want to hold this real quick? I just I found this. I don't want to get on the list for this. No, it's fine. I'm buying this for myself. Live, laugh, love, Kim Jong-un. <laughs> That's too funny. 
It took me a second because I thought this was like extremely racist, but it's just clothing. It's just laundry. <laughs> oh, Lenovo oh, keyboard. Nice. All right, guys, I got my glasses off because my they kept fogging up with this mask. We're in the retail side of Retail Rebel. And I spent like $103 and some change. I found a bunch of stuff, which I'll do a haul, obviously, and then we're gonna list. But right as I walk out, I sold the Razer Ripjaw HD capture card thingy for like 85 bucks, which almost paid for everything I just bought. So not even two minutes after buying $100 worth of stuff. Kunting that I make most of my money back on a different sale completely. So good stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the retail side of things. See, Kunting. is there not the bin side this is the actual store side it used to be a grocery store back in the day I used to, when i was a kid it used to be called a store used to be called price chopper and is now it closed down and is now retail rebel right <laughs> pet feeder yeah a lot, a lot of this wholesale stuff you're right yeah so all kinds of stuff. It's very 90s in here. Mickey Mouse bedding. Yeah, some of the stuff would have been nice to find. Hey, here's more toner. It's all that third party shit. Like we have some of this at work that just won't sell. Do it wiser brand. Got some gaming keyboard, except it's not gaming, it's just ergonomic. Sorry. One of company at Parix. Oh dude, briefcase. Hide your millions in this one. And by Yunmai. Oh, that's cool. Eight computers. Oh, eight Macintosh Pluses, it looks like. <laughs> VGA. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess we're going to hit the other one, right? We got like an hour before they close. Oh, that is cool. How much? It's a chandelier. This, that's, that's 200 bucks on there, so I'm yeah. going to assume... Like, for members like yeah i became a member right before i picked you up i was yeah, like let me no but it's something yeah stuff sits on the shelves. yeah but i was like let me let me sign up real quick let me get the thing so yeah oh we actually use those at work they come in handy definitely You can tell a lot of this is Amazon returns. A lot of Amazon returns. Hans and Alice. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, so we're at a different location, a different retail rebel. You can see, way different. But I found this. These go for a lot, usually. PewDiePie's got this. Some jar thing for myself another demon slayer thing so and this book is like a hundred dollars eighty to hundred dollars get sold on ebay so definitely i found something that youtubers could use this book is not going for anything hardly uh so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get it i'm not gonna worry about it but yeah i found it funny it's heavy as shit though for sure what's that uh, uh, lightning to hdmi oh yeah lightning to hdmi very nice All right, we got 10 minutes, I guess. 10 more minutes before they close. Oh, man. That's too funny. 
Look at that. I'm actually going to buy this and put it on eBay. Yep. Make some money off these fools. Okay, so we, we went next door from Retail Rebel to Mage R Thrift. Major Thrift. M-A-J-R Thrift. I call it Mage R Thrift. Anyway, I can finally learn how to use the internet, guys. Teach yourself computers and the internet visually with late up-to-date OS. That is Windows 95. In full color. 500 full color illustrations. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I go everything from learning how to ship post to posting memes. All in this book. Putting it back on the shelf, though, with one hand is not easy. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're surfing on the internet. <laughs> Have you seen that? Welcome to the internet video on YouTube. It's got millions of views. It's from like 1994. Yeah. Yeah. There's like nothing here to flip. You want full retail. Nothing. A bunch of pantyhose. Copyrighted music in the background. I'm gonna hit it with. Here's the here's the emo section right here, Julian. The emo section. It's all it's all black. There you go. That's a fun that's a fun time. Eeyore pajamas. Yeah, no, it's funny. <laughs> I'll do is twenty percent off on Sundays. That's what the sign says. Big sign on the back. This is kind of cool. Nice, nice looking transition shot. Okay, I'm back home. You guys are currently sitting in light box, so yeah, you see a little bit of the light box on the side. But yeah, um, such a good camera. I love cinematic mode. Anyway, got plenty of stuff at Retail Rebel with Julian. Uh, in case you didn't know, that's, again, who was with me, my homie Julian. First thing I want to point out is this was in those bins. And keep in mind, each item is 5 bucks. So I spent like 135 bucks, I think. Uh, but the first thing, one of the first things, actually one of the last things, uh, that I found, but I do want to show you is somebody had their ledger. Um, I guess it was a return or whatever, but, um, yeah, somebody had their ledger. And if you don't know what ledger is, it's, it's a cold storage for cryptocurrency. So don't know if this works. Uh, I don't know if it's been used. Um, if it has, then I probably can't sell it, but if it is not, this is the ledger nano S I have a ledger nano X. This is where I keep my Expensive crypto, and yeah, it's not focusing on it. It's focusing on my face, which is fine. It's cinematic mode. Um, unless I do that. It's supposed to focus on me. I may have to touch the screen. Or maybe because it's shiny. It's not really doing it. Anyway, um, I have the X. This is the S, and it comes in blue, apparently. Um, but it is, assuming this is not this has not been set up, this has not been used, I can get 50 bucks for it. Uh, so that's the first thing I got. Or the first thing I'm going to show you. The first thing I found was this. This is the Glorious XL Heavy Mouse Pad. All right, and this one's factory sealed, it is white. Uh, but actually, there's two of them. And technically, Julian found these, but he wasn't interested. Uh, he's buying for himself. I'm buying the flip. So keep in mind, if you buy from me on my eBay store, which is very public, it's easy to find. Keep in mind, I am making money. Um, so, if you don't like the idea of making money off of you, then I don't recommend buying from me. Otherwise, if you don't care, and you just want this product, and you want to support me, that's the way to do it. Just saying. But keep that in mind. Uh, I am not doing anybody any favors. Um, it's I'm trying to, you know, have have this be a second form of income. So, hope you understand that. Like, you know, if you buy from me, don't expect me to give you a discount. It's just it's not how it's not how I make money, you know. So uh anyway full disclaimer over and if you don't like that idea then you d definitely don't have to buy from me so not a big deal uh here's a nintendo switch pikachu case so and let me see if i can get this to unzip yes and it's got the stuff on the inside it's got a rubber rubber case for the switch probably the switch light uh, as well as pockets and looks like a screen protector. This stuff is not even used; like it's just opened. 
So I'll be selling that open box on eBay as well. Probably 25 bucks, I would say, but pretty cool. If you like Pikachu, I love Pikachu. Um, but I already have a case for my Switch Lite. But if you don't, that's one way to get one. So uh, keeping up with the Pokemon theme, I actually have three of these. These are Pikachu lunch boxes. So pretty cool. Obviously everything I'm showing today, I paid five bucks for. This probably goes between 15 and 20. So pretty cool. Got one, two, and a third one somewhere in a different box. Um, so I'll, as I find that, I'll show you. But next thing I have is called a grave digger. Uh, it's a buck urine intensified with gland secretions. What does this do? White tail scrape mate. Buck urine intensified. It's something to do with, with deer. Scented soil with TRS. Time release scent. Okay. So you bury this, I guess. And I think it's, I, I want to, unfortunately, I think it's for hunting. Anyway, it was five bucks. Like I've been saying, everything's five bucks. This thing goes for like 40 bucks sealed on eBay, which is why I bought it. So I guess it's for hunting. I don't know. So if you don't like hunting, you know, apologies, but that's how most people eat. This was five bucks. Okay. I don't know if this is a legit one or not. But these things usually go for like hundreds of dollars. I know PewDiePie's got one of these figures. And I think the whole thing is here. But I don't think I'm going to sell this. I've been wanting one of these for years. Ever since PewDiePie showed his off. He's got this one in red. He's got a black one. And I think a gray one. I think a black one. But I know he's got a red one. So while well, I could easily flip this, I don't think I will. Uh, but who knows? If this is going for a stupid amount of money, then maybe I will. But until then... I think I'm going to keep, keep, I, I don't even know what this is called, but I, I've seen this from PewDiePie's videos. It is, yeah, I don't know. Me, me, Metacoin Toy China. So I don't know. This could be a bootleg for all I know. If it is, not a big deal. If it's not, even better. But yeah, so pretty cool. I like that. Pretty, pretty interesting. It's definitely not one to focus on anything but my face. So I guess it's doing its job. Uh, okay, next. So another thing that's a heavy hitter are certain books. This is, I'm going to take it out of the plastic. This is a Step Up to Medicine college book. And again, everything I got today was $5 I paid for. And this thing is going on eBay sold for like 40 bucks. And it's just, it's a book for college. And it's, this one's brand new. So there's a lot of books. Okay, I, I'm going to sell this open box. It is a little bent, but still. That would be a nice flip. So Step Up to Medicine, really thick book. There's a lot of book returns because people like to buy these books and then photocopy the pages and then return them, which is stealing. So on stuff like this, I put no returns, obviously. This is the National Electrical Code Handbook. This one's brand new. We had a different one that was definitely used. But this thing retails on eBay for like 120. I paid five bucks. So that's a flip. No more needed to say about that. It's just that that's going to be quite the flip. It's like a heavy book though. So shipping is not gonna be cheap on that one at all. Um, then I got some pot. That sounds wrong. I got eight. A pot of some sort uh, and it's like wrapped very well let me see if I can rip the shrink wrap because I don't I bought this for me just because I like decorative stuff like that I'm not looking to flip this by any means I don't even know what it, it's for on like whoever wrapped this thanks you really like thank you because it, it didn't get broken but also wow too good of a job all right 
Come on. Come on, Razor Blade. Come on, Razor Blade. Grandpa's got the TV on. Sometimes I wonder if he's deaf. Anyway. Okay, got that off. Yeah, it's just a just a, a a pot with Arabic. Is that Arabic? No, that's not Arabic. What is this? Um What what is this? I forget. Is it is it Thai? I don't know. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you've definitely got a god of some sort. Uh, of some sort, not some fort. A god of some sort in the middle of that. That's so cool. Very nice. And then, whatever this is. So, pretty cool. Okay, uh, what else we got? Oh. I'm going to be making money off this. Um, I don't want to unfold it all the way. But it's the... Trump won Save America flag. So some boomer conservative will probably buy it from me on eBay, and that's fine. Whatever. I don't agree with any of that, just so you know. I think you guys know that very well. I'm not, I'm not a fan of Trump. My family is. I'm the only one that's not. So, and that's fine. Um, moving on, without getting into politics, uh, we got brand new Mercedes-Benz um, license plate frame. So that'll... That'll probably go pretty quick. Uh, so I got, I, I passed on these initially. Okay. Cause one, selling one of these is like 10 bucks, but put two or more together, it could go as high as 25. So I figured I'm gonna sell these two, probably two of the most unpopular Pokemon. I'm gonna sell them together as a set. Listed for 20 or 25. So very nice. Um, all right, we got yet another book. This is the DSM-5 book. This is Diagnostic and uh, Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition. No idea what that means. It just sounds like they're studying mental disorders. It goes for like 40 bucks. Again, I paid five bucks. So, definitely worth it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep looking at the screen and not the camera. But yeah, paid five bucks for this. So, very nice. Okay. Another thing that's brand new is the Kensington... Black Belt Second Degree iPad Case. And yes, I opened up the top, and sure enough, it looks like it was never even used. It's still wrapped. It's all the, everything's there. So I'm just going to sell it brand new. So, very nice. And paid five bucks. It sells for about 40 bucks. Not bad. That's, a, that's definitely a profit. Um, and then I've got uh, Dragon Slayer mouse pad. And, uh, um, which I think I'm pretty sure so that I also have the wallet that I found at the other retail rebel location. This, the cashiers, very cute, by the way, cashiers. They were obsessed with this mouse pad. They liked the 3D-ness of it. I was, I'll just leave it at that. And they were all about that. They like, oh, that feels nice. And yeah, it does prevent carpal tunnel. But also, let's, come on, let's, let's be real. Okay, let's be real. It's enough of that. So, uh... Is that everything? No, I got one more bag. I got a lot of stuff today. Okay, the left lab love Kim Jong-un flag is mine. So that doesn't count. We're gonna set that off to the side. That's that's for me. That's and here's the new factory sealed lunchbox of uh, Pikachu. So very nice. Throw that down there. Okay, so another thing that sells on uh, eBay are car emblems. We have quite a few here, actually. So, let me take them out of the wrap. I didn't realize there was more than two. I thought there was only two in there. It looks like there's more than two. So, we've got V6. Okay, these are all for Toyota, by the way. 4x4. Four yeah, yeah, stuff like this does sell quite a lot. TRD Pro and TRD Pro. These are for Toyota, I want to say Toyota Tundra or Tacoma uh, vehicles. So they're ready to be applied. 
they have the uh, adhesive on the back and once they're on it's hard to get them off but yeah there's that it's also a um, it's either 25 or 50 foot cable uh hdmi cable woven so that should bring a pretty penny as well um sony tv remote they wanted five bucks they gave them five bucks this thing goes for like 35 to 40 bucks like no joke sony tv remote very nice so that will sell definitely chevy emblem i actually need this for the cruise but i think i'd rather sell it but uh yeah chevy emblem brand new it has the adhesive on the back it's ready to be stuck to a car pretty cool i i want to sell it i know i need it for the cruise but I'm, I'm, part of me just wants to sell it and uh last but not least somebody's portable hard drive uh it's in rough shape i don't even know if it works to be honest with you but i do have the cable that requ that it requires i'm gonna plug it in and if it works cool um if not then hey spend five bucks it doesn't work it was just to see it's uh, my passport for mac so very curious to see what is on that so there you go that was today's haul at retail rebel and now to list all this stuff so yeah okay so it's a couple days later and i'm at the post office it's not mine because mine is, is not is, it's not 24 hours anymore so i have to do everything with one hand first of all i'm at the location in the town next over but i've got two packages here uh that's all from no one the, the one on the bottom is one of those books from retail Rebel. i got for five bucks it's sold for 75 and on top is the iphone 6 of mine so i'm gonna try to do this with one hand and vlog not really a vlog this is just a video of of the process if you will so gonna have it scan the labels Continue. I don't want to show anybody's address. So give me one second. Continue. Scan label. Continue. Come on. Scan it. Firmly. Scan it. Sorry. Lovely angles, I know. There we go. Okay, finish. Print. Okay, let's get our printer receipt. I'm gonna hide that so you guys don't see it. And we're going to put the packages in the drop. And this one's going to Florida, and the one on top is going to Washington. So that that's that electrical mechanical book, iPhone 6. Bon voyage. There we go. That's how that's done. Now this location is still 24 hours, luckily. But my location no longer is. So that's how that's done. All right, back to the house. Okay, ignore my messy desk. I was going to do a screen recording, but the, the Mac Mini is not detecting my microphone. So I guess I won't do it that way. Anyway, I showed this to you guys in, the, I think, the last clip or, look, or the clip before. The clip before, well, or the clip before, or whenever I put that clip in this video. Um, remember, I got everything for $5, so this was 5 bucks. It's a 1 terabyte portable hard drive. I don't see it. Anyway, it's 1 terabyte, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's, it's definitely beat up, but this could have something on it. It could work. So without further ado, we're going to plug it in on the right end and do this with one hand. Get the cable the right way. Let's go like that. Yeah. Okay. It's plugged in. I do feel vibration. And my passport is right there. Very nice. Okay. 
we're gonna click on it and see if it works. Look at that. So the Mac does see it. There's nothing on it, it looks like. And yep, it is one terabyte. Very nice. So there you go. It looks like it was wiped on December 24th of last year and opened today, obviously. So cool. I paid five bucks for a working one terabyte portable drive. That is a hell of a deal. It is beat up, but it doesn't matter if it works. So I'm going to install Crystal Disk on the Mac real quick, and we're going to see how many hours the drive has. So for those of you who don't know, Crystal Disk is a free utility you can use. Pretty sure it's on Mac and PC. I know it's on PC for sure. Um, so I'm going to install it real quick, and it'll tell me how much this thing's been used. So here we go. Okay, so they actually don't make Crystal Disk for Mac. It's for PC only. So I'm using a drive... Uh, a software called drive dx currently free trial and i very impressed so far so no issues it's got 82.7 percent health life still uh however it's been powered on 184 times since it's got 10,874 hours 15 months three days and two hours so whoever had this last used it a lot but everything has came back good it passed all the tests um, let's see, let's, let's click on health indicators. Let's see what that does. Startup count. That's a lot. And power on hours. That's a lot. So, huh. That being said, I could still sell this. And I think I will. I don't really have a need for it. But I wasn't going to pass up a $5 potentially working hard drive. One terabyte hard drive. Obviously, I'll put it in the listing that it's used. And, you know, with 10,000 hours and all that other stuff. But, yeah. This could go to somebody who could actually use this. So, very happy with this software. It, it is a free trial. I'm thinking about buying it, though. Because I could use this for a, a ton of other things. How much it is? Let's find out real quick. Oh, personal license is 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy that real quick. So, but yeah, very nice. So, there you go. All right, guys. Got David on in the background watching him play uh, Valorant. Um, but yeah, this will do for this video. Um, during the making of this video, I did sell quite a few things. Um, I sold two of those books that... I bought five bucks a piece. Uh, the the, le the electrician book, whatever it was, a really heavy hardcover, sold it for 75 bucks and sold the mental health book for like 30 bucks. So, and, and I sold a few other things as well. I just can't think of those. Small, they were smaller things. Oh, and I sold the iPhone 6, but uh, which I think I already showed. Actually, I think I showed all this already. I don't remember. It's been a couple days that I've been filming this whole thing. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. More to come. I love this curved TV. It looks so cool. Uh, and please excuse my desk my office. I'm currently, I've got everything torn up because I'm currently like going through stuff that I want to sell. So it is what it is. Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. See you all in more videos. I do want to do more Tales of the Thrift videos. It's been a long time since I did episode one and it's been a couple years, you know. So it was good to finally have episode two. Uh, out. So I hope you guys enjoyed Tales from the Thrift episode 2. Shout out to Julian for going with me and being on camera. I appreciate that so much. Alright guys, take care. See you on the next video. Have a good night.